you had to be 21 at that time to vote, and I was 21 in 1948. And opening the ballot and seeing that there were no Republicans to vote for on the right-hand side of the ballot. We had a Republican running for governor that year, and that's about it. And so I was determined that I was going to do what I could to see if we could not develop a two-party system in our state. And I think I had a great uh, uh, deal to, to accomplish that, but with the help and with the leadership of many other people. Jim Broyhill didn't just win, he whipped and walloped his opponent, David Funderburk, in the Republican Senate primary. We have had a landslide victory. Uh, being raised in a home that, uh, uh, with a father that believed in public service and a mother who believed in public service, a man and woman that did so much for their community and uh, for their state, as well as for their church. My father was a, uh, a man who, uh, any time he went into the plants, the workers would uh, actually stop what they were doing to come over and speak to him and to say hello. And I'll always be proud of that fact that they were able to treat the, the boss uh, with that kind of respect. And of course, a young son coming along like I, I was, wanted to emulate his dad. So that, I suppose, is where I learned it. A uh, subcommittee chairman by the name of John Moss uh, was pushing the Consumer Product Safety Bill. So Mr. Moss did not have the votes unless he could get uh, some of us Republicans to vote with him. I sat down with one of the other, with the second ranking member, who was a member from uh, Houston, Texas, by the name of Bob Eckhart. And we took the legislation and went through it in a fine tooth comb. He's a liberal Democrat, I'm a conservative Republican. We worked it out. Uh, we had only uh, a couple of issues left. We'd agreed on everything. We went to the subcommittee and uh, the bill passed by almost unanimous. And here, the bill wasn't gonna go anywhere. I'm just proud of the fact that I had something to do with the creation of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And one of the programs that Governor Martin pushed, and I, of course, was there helping him push and with it was a program of where if they would bring their business to North Carolina, that we would train their workers their way at our expense at the local community colleges. This was a new program uh, just being financed. We were able to get additional funds for it at the time, and that program is continuing to this day and has been a, a great uh, incentive uh, for companies to come here and to, to locate. Now, just recently, here I haven't been in office for over 30 years. I made a speech in Kinston, North Carolina. And just before I was to be introduced, one of the gentlemen in the audience stood up and came to the podium. And he said, I want to personally thank this man who's going to be introduced in a minute for saving my life. He says, I was in uh, 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 the boondocks of Vietnam and said I had a death in the family and I could not get anyone's attention in order to get an emergency leave in order to get home. He said I was out there, the Viet Cong were about to attack, a helicopter landed with orders to pick me up and the orders came from Congressman James Broyhill. I got on that helicopter, the Viet Cong attacked that base and it could have been the end of me and I want to thank him for saving my life. What an introduction that anyone ever had at any event uh, ever. Uh, but that is just a, a small example of the kind of constituent work that I uh, got so much uh, uh, personal pleasure of, of accomplishing in my years in Congress. I want uh, North Carolina to be uh, known as a, a state of opportunity a state where you can uh, 
uh, have a good life, a state that continues to have a good environment, but also a state where you can come and educate your children and that you can grow uh, with the state, uh, not only uh, intellectually, uh, but also grow with your, your family here as well.